It's me again, back for a vinyl update. And this vinyl update was actual record shopping at a record store. One of my favorite things to do, aside from buying records anywhere else, I guess. Um, record shopping in general, but uh, especially at a record store because, you know, um, that's where all the good stuff is as far as the reissues and... You know, you'll find a lot of used stuff there that you're not going to find anywhere else, would be my guess. At least that's my experience, I would say that. Um, seems a little dark in here. Let me turn on some more lights. I don't think that helped, but anyway. Um, so, uh, this past weekend, I think it was Saturday, me and Kat went to Everybody's Records. Um, we had some, some errands to run. Uh, that day and so we I mean we stayed long enough to do record shopping so we got we got that in pretty good um, but of course you know I can always stay longer um, but I got to look at pretty much everything so it, it was good um, <clears throat> everybody's records is in Cincinnati if you're not familiar with it uh, not like directly downtown in Cincinnati but um, it's uh it's exit you take exit 10 off of uh 75 south um is it exit 10 yeah exit 10 um but anyway um, everybody has gps and stuff if you're interested you can definitely look it up but it's one of our favorite record stores we've said that numerous times in our videos and um very nice uh very nice guys there, um, very helpful, uh, and they always carry, like I said, records I've never seen anywhere else. So um, they open at 11 on Saturday, and we got there a little bit after 12, and um, it was pretty busy already. I mean, the parking lot they share with uh, a couple other businesses there, um, So, but the parking lot was pretty full. And so, um, but the store was, it was nice because I wanted to go to, um, record, I wanted to go record shopping before record store day, which is coming up in April of this month. Um, because of course all the record store day exclusives are not going to be there before then, but I just wanted to go, you know, before the crowd got there because on record store day, Pretty much any record store you go to is going to be very, uh, very busy with people that you wouldn't normally see uh, at a record store, and because they're there, you know, to experience it and to get the exclusives and to see the bands and and all that good stuff, um, which we will be participating in, of course. Um, but I just wanted to go before that, um, you know, get some good record shopping in and and hopefully not be uh busy that day which it wasn't we got there early enough uh and there wasn't any special events so it worked out perfect um so i'll show you what i got and quit mumbling uh first of all um this cd is a local artist um woody that works there i think he's one of the owners of everybody's he uh they actually had this playing they said they put this on for us because they know we like a lot of oddball stuff, um, which is an understatement coming from me especially. Um, and I I heard it on the other side of the store, and I was thinking, that's sort of different than what they were playing a minute ago. That's pretty cool. What is that? And then by the time I got to the other side of the store to check out, I could hear it a lot better. And my first thoughts was, it sort of sounds like Captain Beefheart. Not really his voice, but that style of experimental music. Um, and then, uh, Woody had said it was sort of like, uh, Tom Waits and I could sort of hear that too. But anyway, his name is Claren Hayden and this is his, I'm assuming this came out in 2017. So I don't know how many CDs he has put out. Um, but I'd found him on Facebook and he accepted my friend request. So that was cool. Uh, this is, it says here back on the back, it says one of 50. 
and then it comes with this little this looks like a sticker actually and he's on he shows his social media there but um i'm going to listen to this as soon as i get done with this video because i'm very interested into uh, very interested in hearing the rest of it um But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Here's the um, it says Ninth Path Productions. Walk tall and kick ass. So I guess that's probably yeah, that's his record label or the record label he's on. So yeah, um, and uh, you know it was really cool of them to put that on. For us, basically, to see if we liked it in the store, you know, because, you know, we shop there regularly and, you know, they know that we buy a lot of different kinds of music. And, yes, I really liked what I heard and I can't wait to listen to this. As soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to listen to it and probably put that on my iPod um, so I can listen to it in the car. So, thanks a lot. Um... Woody for uh, putting that on for us and because uh, I love to find new artists um, and I uh, had recently had said to my girlfriend Kat um, who also makes videos um, that I would like to get like a local um, paper of some sort that has a listing of all the clubs and local bands that's playing around uh, and experience a couple local bands um, because you find a lot of really uh, as far as I'm concerned local bands is just as good as anything that people are familiar with as far as like you know um, big name bands so I'd sort of like to do that I mean I'm not we're not drinkers or anything we're not partiers um, but I wouldn't mind going and to a, a place that had you know really good food and and a good band playing, you know, I think that'd be really awesome. So anyway, I'll stop yapping and show some of the vinyl here. Uh, the first thing I got, vinyl-wise, is this soundtrack to CBGB, the movie. Um, I have this movie, and it's an awesome movie. It's really, really good. And this was, I didn't know there was a soundtrack, especially on vinyl. I mean, it stands to reason there would have been. Uh, it says... 50,000 bands and one disgusting bathroom. And this is a double album. And I wanted to get this not only because I like the movie and probably anything on the soundtrack would be good, but it has a lot of obscure, um, not a lot, but not all, I should say, but quite a few obscure songs uh, from bands you know and then some bands you don't know. I'll just name a few here. Um, I'll just name uh, the bands, and then I'll uh, go through a few of the songs. We have uh, the Talking Heads, the MC5, New York Dolls, Television, Richard Hell and the Voidoids, Flaming Groovies, the Velvet Underground, Wayne County and the Electric Chairs, the Count Five, Tough Darts, Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers, the Dictators, the Dead Boys, Joey Ramone, the Laughing Dogs, Blondie, the Stooges, Dead Boys, the Police, and Hilly Crystal does the song which he's the owner of, was the owner of CBGB. This came out in 2013. Uh, and, you know, they have some, they have like I Want to Be Your Dog by the Stooges, uh, Roxanne, uh, uh, the police, uh, Count Five, Psychotic Reaction, um, Kick Out the Jams, the MC5, Life During Wartime, Talking Heads, Blank Generation by Richard Hell. Um, yeah, I've seen this. It's like, you know, I'm just going to pick that up because if I don't find anything that I want more, I'm going to get it. Uh, so, like I said, it's a double album. It's just black vinyl. There's the label. Punks are coming. Punks is coming is what that says on that side. On this side, it doesn't say that. Omnivore Records. Omnivore Recordings. And I don't think this one came with a download card. If I can get this out here. Yeah, 
I always have uh, new vinyl, you really want to... See, that one didn't say that on either side. It's sort of odd. But it, yeah, like I said, it's just black vinyl. Um, you know, I've mentioned in my videos before, I don't... If it's a new record, I don't handle the... Uh, the vinyl with my hands, or at least as minimal as I can. Um, but if it's like st stuff I get from thrift stores, uh, and even used records, but especially from thrift stores, a lot of times when I'm showing them in my videos, I haven't cleaned them yet. So if you see me handling them, you know, anybody watching out there, don't worry. I mean, I know some people are still touchy about that, rather they whether it's a new record or not, but it doesn't bother me as much, and my hands aren't that dirty, so. And I know the oil from your skin and all that, but it's not an issue with me, so. And then I picked this up, uh, the Flaming Lips. It's a uh, Stare Death, S Stare Death and White Dwarfs with Henry Rollins and Peaches doing The Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, I'd heard this online, I don't know how long ago, and I really liked it. I thought they did a great job. I mean, the Flaming Lips, I like them anyway, uh, and I just recently picked up their uh, Sgt. Pepper's uh, CD that they did, so I was definitely going to get this because, like I said, I'd already heard it and liked it, and, you know, it's all of their stuff is pretty much psychedelic, which is great. Came with this. This is the inner sleeve, but the record it was not actually in the inner sleeve. It was in this white sleeve here. And this is just black vinyl. There's side one. And there's side two. And then it also came with a CD of the album, which I didn't know that uh, ahead of time. There's the CD. And um, this would be one on my iPod, too. Uh, and the funny thing, I might have said this in a previous video, I don't remember. My iPod is full. So to add anything to it, I have to delete stuff. And, you know, I've been doing that periodically, just trying to trim off excess stuff that I don't listen to that's on there. Um, you know, but I don't, I can't do that much hardly like anything anymore because there's so much I mean everything on there basically I want to keep on there is what I'm trying to say I'm trying to multitask I never was good at multitasking that's my girlfriend she knows that I can't do two things at once so yeah there's uh, the flaming lips I'll put that in there afterwards so that was a really cool find and then this one here I was Really, the records that I got this time was records that either I hadn't seen before or I didn't have anything by the artist. Um, those two I hadn't seen before, and this one I did not have anything by the artist as far as a full-length uh, CD or album. Richard Hell and the Voidoids, which are all also on the CBGB soundtrack. This has uh, this is um, Blank Generation, which is on that other record. But I wanted the whole album. Because, like I said, I'd never seen it uh, and didn't, didn't own it, obviously. And this one is black vinyl. And I only say that because if it was colored vinyl, I guess I'd probably show you. And I don't know if this was a recent reissue. Um, manufactured exclusively uh, Rhino and distributed by Scorpio Music. Uh, it says, originally came out in 1977. Punk rock classic, of course. I mean, if you guys are not familiar. Um, but the only two songs I know on here is the title track and then Love Comes in Spurts. Um, other than that, I, I mean, I wasn't about to pass it up. Richard Hale and the Voidoids, Blank Generation. And then this one, I was watching a video recently on, on uh, the VC of, I'm assuming, a fairly new collector to vinyl. Um, 
and he was showing this record, and I'd seen this record somewhere before. I want to say that I don't have it, but it seems like I might have... I, it seems like I might have an original, but I don't think I do. I'm, it's it's really hard for me to remember because I look at so many records and my memory's terrible anyway. Always has been. But anyway, he was talking about this record and he he had bought it, uh, and I guess it's it was reissued, uh, and I I did had I did see it at everybody's previous to seeing that video, and I was thinking, well, now that I really want to get it which I sort of wanted to get it anyway, I'll never find it. But they did still have a couple copies of it. It's the 50th anniversary uh, mono version. It's the Zodiac Cosmic Sounds. Original music composed, arranged, and conducted by Mort Garson. The words by Jocks Wilson. And I was aware of this record, like I said, but I had no idea that it was Mort Garson because I was made aware of him by Jello Biafra in one of his uh, digging videos for the Fuse channel on YouTube uh, and he had showed some Mort Garson um, records it's like oh my god I've got to get some of that and this is in this is glow in the dark vinyl so this is my second uh, glow in the dark vinyl record I think the other one I have is the Munsters. No, it's the Adams Family. Um, but I heard a couple samples of this, and it's like, yeah, that's really awesome. You know, you want to burn some incense and listen to this. So, must be played in the dark, it says. But it basically goes through all the um, zodiac signs. Uh, there's one for each. There's the track listing. Celestial Counterpoint with Words and Music. So, the Zodiac. That's going to be a great listen, I'm sure. And then the last record I have to show was something... Let me get comfortable here. Something that I ran across that I I was looking in the used records. Ah, I was looking in the used records... And all of the ones I showed so far have been reissues. This one, I'm pretty sure it's an original. It says copyright 1990. But it's 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Have hearse, will travel. It's funny that I said the Munsters a minute ago because this, this address is the Munsters address on their TV show. And I'd never heard of this band or seen this record. But I mean, if you look here, there there's a hearse. And that's a, there's some cool uh, instruments there, especially that one guitar. It's really an odd shape. But, yeah, I had to get this. And I didn't even realize it, but it's green vinyl. So, that was a surprise. Just a clear plastic sleeve. Um... But I'll just read what this says here about it. It, uh, <laughs> it says, Pulse to the throbbing goblin, bass bashing of Robin Graves. Thrill to haunted houseman's blistering fuzz buzz buzzing guitar. Dig Kim's free fiendishly frightening Farissa riffs. Tremble at the primordial power pounding of Marty Fear. It says, no Paisley Pop here. Um, hot, hard, heavy, hellish. Real rock and roll, the way you remember it. The way you wish it could always be. The way it, it, the way it is, now and forever, in the hands of 1313 Mockingbird Lane. It's on Sunday's Music, which I have heard of that label. So this, this might not be too old of a release. I mean, maybe it, this is just, it obviously is original. Anyway... <clears throat> some of the uh, track list uh, the tracks on here uh, Big Black Car uh, Bat's Milk Yogurt 
Teenage Devil Doll, uh, Blood on the Moon, My Hearse is Double Parked, uh, Ooga Booga Baby, Jack the Ripper, Space Ghost, Wolfman. So yeah, I had to get it. I mean, well, there's no way I could have not. I can't wait to listen to this one. Um, and you know, I, I was thinking about this before I made the video. And I've thought about this before. I really wish that I would listen to all these. Whatever I show, I wish I would listen to before I make the video. But a lot of times, I don't. And I don't know why that is. I mean, one, because I have too much to listen to. That's an obvious thing. I mean, but aside from that, uh, I can't really tell you what it looks, what it sounds like if I haven't heard it. I mean, some of the some of the stuff I know what it is. Um, and I know a lot of people, if they're interested, they can look it up on YouTube. A lot of it's on there probably. Um, and I apologize for that, but that's just sort of, you know, what it what happens when you have too much of everything thanks for watching and subscribing um, I haven't forgot about my 400 plus subscri subscribers contest uh, we'll be doing one of those I had a couple ideas and I actually forgot <laughs> what they were because me and uh, Kat was discussing a lot of different things that I could do so um, once I decide on one or two of those specific ideas, then I'll be making a video about it. So I haven't forgot, and I appreciate all my subscribers and everyone that watches. Once again, if you're ever down in the Cincinnati way uh, and you want to go record shopping, go to Everybody's Records before you go anywhere else because that's the record store that you'll find everything you're looking for and stuff that you never knew existed, like like that record I just showed. So, I appreciate uh, those guys out there. Always um, nice to us. And they recognize us because we're in there a lot. And they appreciate our business. And, and, you know, vinyl is what makes the world go around. No pun intended. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next final update.